Recent severe storms have kept disaster response organizations very busy. As tornadoes rip through portions of the country, they're once again monitoring if their help may be needed. News 8's Demetria Sanders has more on what a local organization is saying about their recent workload. Well, Amanda, so often when weather-related disasters strike, there's volunteers and organizations standing by ready to lend a helping hand. Now, responding to weather event after weather event can bring on fatigue, but these organizations are still continuing their mission. World Renew is a nonprofit based in Byron Center that provides services including disaster relief. Their specialty is long-term disaster response and helping restore damaged homes. So we connect with a local organization. Um, we bring volunteers and expertise and tools and tool trailers. Over the last year or so, Larman has noticed an increase in situations where their teams are mobilized. There certainly has been an uptick, both in the number of disasters and the size of disasters. In some cases, is one after the next. Certainly we had a cleanup crew helping clean up after Ian, and then when the next hurricane came, they turned their efforts to boarding up windows for the next one that came through. Larman says the frequency of the severe storms or natural disasters can be discouraging, but it's not stopping their nearly 1,500 volunteers across the U.S. from answering the call to help. And what keeps us going is to focus on what we can do. We can't do it all and we can't be everywhere, but we can um, be part of some amazing recoveries in the places where we can go. To prepare for future disaster response efforts, World Renew's volunteer leadership collaborate with other organizations long before a storm forms so they can do the most good with their available resources. They're talking to local authorities and getting us good information early on. And Larman says oftentimes the damage following a major weather event causes people to lose hope and they work to bring it back. So they get their hope restored and a stable home to work from and a launch pad with renewed hope to continue on in their lives. Now, Larman says the volunteers that they send out to a site work in groups of between 20 and 12 to 20 people, and they are switched out as necessary. Amanda.